Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Go ahead and rest. Next up, we're going to go to one knee. We're going to do a hip pulse with rotation. So hands behind the head like the prisoner style. Then as one. you hip pulse Texas forward, we want to turn and just rotate over the leg that's up. So we're just doing a small little rotation, a little bit of a hip pulse, squeezing the glute of the leg that's down. And it's going to help open up that hip, and then you're going to rotate. Try to stay nice and tall. Don't pull your head down as you're rotating. Just stay with that rotation. So you go to the side. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Go ahead and switch your legs. Three. And same thing. Two, Hip pulse one. forward a little bit. Exercise three. Rotate over the other leg just a little bit. Not going to get a huge rotation, and that is fine. Just getting a nice little bit of a thoracic rotation as you're opening that hip through hip pulse. Just make sure you're rocking back and forth. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Go ahead and rest and switch to a glute bridge march now. So that's going to be on your back. With your feet flat on the floor, Three, you're going to lift your hips two, up. One. We're going to hold them up. Exercise four. And then we're going to lift one leg at a time. So go ahead and begin. Try to think about keeping those glutes on as you lift one leg and then the other. Just do a nice, good, steady march. Not looking to overly lift that leg. I'm just going to pick it up. Put it back down. Make sure you're pressing hard to that foot that's on the ground. Big toe, little toe, and heel should be making contact with the floor. Three, two, one, rest. Good, go ahead and rest. We're gonna stay laying down, and we're gonna go into what's called leg lowering. So leg lowering is both legs in the up position, Three, feet tucked two, towards you, one. lowering one leg Exercise at a time. Five. Go ahead and begin. So think about keeping that core nice and tight as you lower one leg down, slow and steady, switch, and do the other one. We try to force those legs long as you're doing that leg lowering. Try to get those legs nice and straight. So one leg straight up as the other one lowers down to the floor. So open up those hamstrings just a little bit. Get a nice stretch there as well. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Go ahead and rest. We're going to switch into bear crawls, baby crawls, or bird dogs. So we get over on all, on all fours. Three, two. We're going to make sure that if we're doing bear crawls, Exercise knees are just six. off the ground. You crawl forward using just the opposite hand, opposite leg. Baby crawls, you keep the knees on the floor. And then bird dog, you're extending opposite leg, opposite arm out, keeping that core nice and tight. Begin if you haven't. Try to think about a nice, steady movement with that bear crawl. Moving slow and steady. Belly button to the ground. Three. Two, one, rest. Good, go ahead and rest and stand up. We're gonna be jumping an hourglass here. So it's a plyometric movement where we move like an hourglass. So we start with our Three, feet wide. Two, we jump in the middle, one, feet come together, wide at the top, and then we go back and forth just like that. Go ahead and begin. You can always do a two-step shuffle, quick feet moving forward and backwards as opposed to side to side. Otherwise, you're jumping that hourglass figure. I'm just moving those feet quick. Apart, together, apart. Same thing back down. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Go ahead and rest and switch to either frog jumps or body weight squats. So if you feel like a frog jump, just get down deep into that two, squat, keep the tall one. chest and explode up. Exercise eight. Otherwise, body weight squats, think about keeping those feet screwed to the floor. Just rep those body weights. Squats out. Get a nice tall chest if you're jumping. Make sure to land on the balls of your feet. Jump into the balls here. You got 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. Good job. All right, go ahead and grab your water bottles. Today for your workout, we're going to be doing an EMOM. 
we're going to do a one minute imam, not a two minute imam, like we have been doing in the past. So one minute imam means you have 60 seconds to get the three exercises done with 10 reps of each. So you're going to think, okay, I got 30 reps to do inside of 60 seconds. The faster I get it done, the more rest I get. So if it takes me 30 seconds, I get 30 seconds rest. Ideally, you'll finish anywhere between 30 to 45 seconds with that 15 to 30 seconds of rest. Then we will begin round two no matter what at the next minute when it starts. Okay, so your rest is best, basically how long it takes you. So the three different patterns, we're going to try to get lateral hand walks in, halo slams, and invisible jump ropes. So for a lateral hand walk, you're thinking about getting up into the tall plank position with your hands under your shoulders, your core is engaged, and we start moving to the side of the opposite leg, opposite hand as we go. My, as my hands come together, my feet go apart. Same thing, when my feet come together, my hands come apart. And 10 steps, doesn't matter if you go two or three one direction, two or three another direction, 10 total steps and you're done. Okay, so you can go five if you got the space for it. You can go five one way and five the other. Okay, but most of us are gonna have enough space, maybe like two to three one way, two to three the other. Total 10 steps and that lateral hand walks. If we can't quite do lateral hand walks, that's fine. Still need to do something though that we can count. So we're gonna stay in that tall plank position and then we're gonna Lift our hands up just off the ground ever so slightly doing the hand lifts. Keeping that core nice and tight. One, two, three, four. So you're going to count every hand lift there in place of that lateral hand walk. Okay, so that's going to be exercise number one. Exercise number two is going to be we're going to pretend like you have a medicine ball. Okay, we're going to do what's called a halo slam. We're going to bring those arms together. We're going to go back to the side of our body like we're going to come back with an axe up overhead and bring it down hard. Then we're going to bring the axe to the other side of the body. Bring it up and over and bring it down hard. So notice how he comes with that rotation of the torso and then he brings it down hard every time. We're going to do a total of 10 just like the lateral hand walks. So you're going to do five per side. There's no real need for a modification for that one. It's going to be pretty, pretty good if you're just having overhead issues. You would just not go twice overhead in that pattern. Keep it a little bit lower. Okay, so we'll work on that rotation. Eyes and the body rotate together. Bring it down hard. 10 slams. Then we end with 10 invisible jump ropes. So for this one, it sounds it's exactly what it is. You're going to pretend like you have the jump rope as you do 10 of them. If you can't quite jump during this pattern here, 10 of a two-step shuffle, moving forward and backwards. So two steps, one, stepping back, two, stepping forward, one, stepping back, two. Okay, it's moving those feet as quick as you can to get your um, two-step shuffle in as fast as possible. Okay, so you're going to think about lateral hand walks, 10, or hand lifts, halo slams, 10, invisible jump ropes, or two-step shuffle, 10. Okay, so we're going to try to get his idea is get pretty quick through those rounds so you give yourself a little bit of a rest. Okay, so we have our first EMOM up, 60 seconds to get it done. We're going to do it for 10 rounds. So we're going to move pretty quick. We've got 30 reps to do and then about 45 seconds. Lateral hand walks will probably take the most time. So go ahead and get on your push-up position. I think your music is on. Here we go. In five, four. Three, two, one, and begin. Exercise Imam has started. One. Just 10 total hand walks or 10 hand lifts. Then you're going to jump up or stand tall and do your halo slam. Give yourself a nice good squat stance. Give yourself a full rotation. Bring it back like you're bringing it back behind you. Swing that axe down. All right, bring it, make sure when you're, when you're bringing it down, you bring it down straight down in front of you. You have a very distinct slam. Then 10 invisible jump ropes after those 10 slams. You guys are at 20 seconds. Just pretend like if you brought that ax down on something, you want to make sure that you guys were in a nice, good, steady position. Three. Two, one. And we're back to lateral one. hand walks. Go ahead and begin. Remember, it's just a total of 10. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Hands come together as your feet come apart. Then it's 10 halo slams. Bring it down. So 
Uh, Lori, bring it back behind your head when you're doing it too. You got 25 seconds. And you got invisible jump ropes, 10 at the end. So you got 15 seconds. Hopefully this jump rope start catching it on your feet. Be able to get it smooth. Three, Here we go. Round two, three. One. Exercise. And one. begin. Go. Then you got ten lateral hand walks, ten halo slams. Hit that imaginary stump with your imaginary axe. Bring it up and over and down. You got 30 seconds after those 10 halo slams. Don't forget you end with 10 invisible jump ropes. These are doing great. We got 15 seconds. We're going to go back into our lateral hand walks. Got to make sure on those halo slams, the only thing that's really new, so it's a little bit tough for you guys today. Start Three, with the start at the hips, two, go back, one. bring it up, Exercise and then over. Go one. ahead and begin. Keep those hips down. Keep that back flat so that it's a nice neutral spine. Keep the hands under your shoulders. And 10 halo slams after those hand walks. Feel like you're rotating as you bring the slam back and then back down. And then 10 invisible jump ropes is where we end. You got 15 seconds. You're gonna hit round number five. Anybody getting some double unders when they're doing their jump ropes? Three, two, one. And begin. One. Go. Make sure you're keeping that belly button to the floor during those lateral hand walks. Ten of those. Ten halo slams. I'm gonna feel that core rotating. Just 30 seconds. Keep going. 10 halo slams and with 10 invisible jump ropes. Got 15 seconds. We're halfway through the imam portion. And you guys are doing Three, great. Two, one. And Exercise begin again, one. lateral hand walks. Keep that core tight. When I'm walking, hands under my shoulders. Then hop up, halo slam, 10 of them, rotate. Rotate back, bring it down. You got 30 seconds left after the slams. You got invisible jump ropes. 10. Hopefully, you kept those jump ropes right next to your body after those halo slams. You can go right into them. You have to go over there and fetch your jump rope. All right, we got 10 seconds. Round number seven. Three, two, one. And Exercise begin. One. Go. After the 10 lateral walks, make sure we go right to those 10 halo slams. Give yourself a nice good squat stance. Bend to the knees. Rotate with the core. Bring it down with some force. Got 
You guys got about 30 seconds right into those invisible jump ropes. Make sure they're the right length, too. You got 15 seconds, so rounds 8, 9, and 10. I always like getting to get around 8, 9, and 10. It almost sounds like we're done. You drink water if you need it. Here we go. In five seconds. Three, two, one. Begin. Go. Guys, one. You guys are moving at a wonderful pace. Everyone's done in with about 20 to 15 seconds of rest every round. So we got those halo slams come next. 10. Good rotations popping through. Smash. Channel that inner Hulk rage. Derek smash. Cindy smash. Jerry smash. And Lori smash. Keep going, guys. Ten invisible jump ropes is where you end. Ten quick ones. You got 20 seconds. Get ready for the last two rounds. Means only two minutes. Starting back with a lateral hand Three, watch. Here we go. Two, one. And begin. Press one. And got those hand walks. Stand up as quick as you can into those halo slams. Rotate. Take those arms all the way back. Rotate overhead. Bring it down. You have 30 seconds. Don't forget to end with invisible jump ropes. Ten of those. Go about 15 seconds, last round. Let's see, everyone's done a really good job going unbroken so far on those jump ropes. Well done. Two, one. And begin, go. Ten lateral hand walks. Up for ten halo slams. Make sure you're giving yourself that halo. Bring it down. Then end with 10 invisible jump ropes. When you're done with your invisible jump ropes, get a drink of water. We're going to talk about the finisher. I'm going to talk. Trevor's going to demo. You get to watch. So we got 10 more seconds. Looks like everybody is done. Good job. Your timer is complete. Good job. The EMOM portion is over. Now we're going to do a core finisher. So we're going to do four different movements, all based for the core. We're going to work for 30 seconds with 10 seconds of rest for three rounds. So you're done counting your reps. Now you just have to work on the timer, okay? So we're going to work for 30 seconds. Exercise number one is going to be what we call a sit-up. So for the sit-up, you try to keep those feet. Flatten to the floor, keeping that core nice and tight, chest up, shoulders back, making sure you're trying your hardest to not lift those feet up as they come up as well. You want to make sure you're forcing that sternum up towards the sky. You can always substitute a hands and knee crunch. We can't quite do a full sit up, but if you're in between, we'd still like you guys to like pinch your feet against the wall or use a couch to kind of hold your feet in. It is still a little bit more challenging than doing a hands and knee crunch. Okay, so you can go full sit up, like an assisted sit up. And then a hand to the front. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to be exercise number one. You can do that for 30 seconds. Then you have 10 seconds rest. And we're going to move on to pledge planks. So pledge plank, you're in that tall pillar position again, like that lateral hand walk. And we're just going to go opposite hand, opposite shoulder over the course of that 30 seconds. If you're unable to lift your hands to your shoulders, just go ahead and hold that position. If you're uncomfortable holding it on your hands, you can always go down onto your elbow and do the full plank then instead. Okay, so exercise number two is going to be pledge planks or a plank hold. Exercise number three, we're going to be sitting on our tailbones, 
we're gonna do what's called a Russian twist. So a Russian twist, we're gonna sit on our tailbone, lift our legs off the ground ever so slightly. The more we bend, the more easier we can make it. Then we're gonna rotate with our hands from side to side. We're gonna tap the ground with one fist and bend the other. Notice how you keep that nice tall chest as you rotate. We can't quite do a Russian twist. We can always focus on trying to hold that O pose over the course of that 30 seconds, where you're just gonna try to sit on your tailbone, try to keep your knees a little bit bent, keep that nice tall chest over that 30 seconds. Okay, so we have that one for ex exercise number three. Exercise number four, we're gonna do what's called a leg lowering. The leg lowering is just like the warm up. Okay, you're gonna have your arms down by your side, legs straight up into the air, feet flexed, and we're gonna lower one leg down at a time, slow and controlled, and then bring it back up and do the other leg. We're gonna try to best keep those legs straight and those feet flexed over the course of that 30 seconds. Over the course of the three rounds, looking for a nice good core burn. So. Hope you're kind of that core over the course of the weekend. Here we go. We're going to start with sit up. So go ahead and turn your music back on. Go ahead and get ready. If you needed a mat or anything. Otherwise, we start with sit ups. We end with leg lowering. We do that three times. And don't worry about counting. I got the time. Here we go. Start with sit ups in five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and begin. Sit ups, hands, knee crunches, assisted sit ups. We're really about engaging that core. Belly button down. Sitting up. And we'll speed as far as you can to the ground. You need assistance. You can use a couch or even the wall. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Rest. We're going to go into plunge planks. We don't have much time, only a few seconds. So get onto your hands and feet. We're going to either hold the plank or tap off the hand off the shoulder. Begin. We're going through these rounds. We'll be over before you know it. We'll hopefully get a little core burn. Try on this one. That's the thing about anti rotation of the hips. So as you lift your hands up, the opposite hand off the shoulder, we're not moving the body. Almost there. Three, two, one, rest. Good, go ahead and rest. We're gonna move on to Russian twist. So go ahead and sit on that tailbone. You're gonna sit back. Three, you need to do a boat two, pose. You can't quite do the Russian twist. Go ahead and begin. Russian twist is moving that hand from side to side. Think about torso rotation, not trying to move the whole body. The legs are basically staying in place. Focus on your breathing. You have 10 more seconds of that Russian twist or that boat pose hold. Three, two, one, rest. Good, go ahead and rest. Now just lay down. We're gonna put our legs straight up in the air. We're gonna do leg lowering next. Three, two, one. And Next begin, go. Four. Try to keep those legs nice and long. There, put the red leg that's not being lowered. Put it straight up in the air. We're going to keep those feet nice and flexed. You have 15 more seconds of this. Keep that core nice and tight. Think about your core being the one that lowers the leg down. It lowers it down slow and steady. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Go ahead and rest. We're back into sit-ups. You're probably in that position where you're ready to go right into sit up. Three, two, one. Exercise and begin, one. go. Back to sit ups, hands, knee crunches. Maybe you're lucky enough to have some for assisted sit ups as well, if you need it. Remember, we don't want to round through those shoulders. Try your best to keep a nice, good posture throughout that sit up. You got 10 more seconds. Core engagement on the way up, core engagement on the way down. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Go ahead and rest. We're going to move on to pledge planks. Three, two, one, exercise. And begin. Moving off the hand, opposite shoulder. Really put that hand back into the ground hard after every rep. Get screwed into the floor. 
Focus on your breathing, especially those that are doing the plank. Big deep breath. Use that diaphragm. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Go ahead and rest. Back into a Russian twist. So that's where we sit on that tailbone. So I can start with that boat pose. Three, the farther your legs are out, the harder it's going to be. You do your legs Go ahead and begin. Russian twist, begin. You have boat pose as well. Make sure you bring those knees into your chest. Does make that a little easier. Think about really bracing that core, holding you steady. You have to rest if you feel on the floor. Three, two, one, rest. Good, go ahead and rest. Back into leg lowering. So go ahead and lay down on the floor, legs Three, straight up into the sky. One, exercise And four. begin. Really focus on lengthening those legs as best you can. Think about that belly button to the floor. You got 15 more seconds of leg lowering. Only one more round to go. One. Rest. Good. Rest. Final round. Back into our sit-ups. Can't tell if any of your guys' Three. cores are getting a little sore yet, Two. but hopefully One. they are just mid. Exercise. And One. begin. Back to sit-ups. We're slowing down. That's okay. Try to make the perfect sit-up. I don't find myself swinging my arms too much. I like to just lock my arms across my chest. So I'm not using them. You guys are doing great. Only a few more seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Go ahead and rest. Back to pledge planks. Three, two, one. Exercise. And begin. Go. Kind of think about not moving those hips as you lift your hands up. Hold in the plank position. Just pinch those shoulders just a smidge. Focus on your breathing. You only got 15 more seconds. You can do it. Just hold it. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Go ahead and rest. Back to Russian twists. Three. Keep yourself nice and two. tall. One. And rotate Exercise. and begin. Think about rotating from the belly button up. Using that core, keeping it nice and tight. You have to put maybe one leg on the ground, a little bit of support. Feel that too much in your lower back. You guys are doing awesome. Five more seconds. Three, two. One, rest. And rest. All right, last and final exercise is leg lowering. So go ahead and Three, two, put those legs straight up in the air exercise. and begin. Use that core to control the lowering down. And bring those legs up. Try to think about keeping those legs nice and straight as best you can. And we'll lengthen those hamstrings as well, using that core to control the lower down. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. Good job, everybody. That is the end of the workout. You guys did great. Got a little core workout there at the end. As well as a nice little easy.